Are you still awake? It's almost a week now. What's going on? Mm. Hey, no, no, it's okay. Trust me, I completely understand. The amount of nights that I lay here and my eyes are close, but my mind is just still wide awake. Yeah. I'm sitting up because I want you to come and lay against me. I just want some cuddles. Yeah, I'll hold you. Come on, don't be stubborn, okay? I'm fine. This, like, this might help me get back to sleep, so... <laughs> Just come on, come here. Mm. Oh, no, it's okay. Right here. Mm-hmm. I think sometimes you put a little bit too much pressure on yourself, especially when it comes to sleep. <laughs> like, like now, you know, I think sometimes I see it in you, you're like, if I'm not asleep by a certain time, no, it's like you think you failed to sleep. Mm -hmm. It keeps you awake even longer and you start to worry, which keeps you awake even longer. And, you know, it's just... I don't know. I think you're putting too much pressure on yourself. Shh, hey, no. We are going to stay like this. Just for a little bit. Okay. I'm just having a cuddle. And just talking. There's no pressure to fall asleep. At all. Okay. Just gonna spend some time together. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm here. I've got you. I guess you're just gonna have to deal with me rambling at you for a little bit. <laughs> Get comfy. <laughs> hmm. What can I ramble about? Hmm. I started reading a new book this week. Mm-hmm. Eh, non-fiction. Technically. <laughs> it is kind of like an account of the last four months of Amberlynn's life. <laughs> I don't know, I just found it really interesting lately. Hey. No questions. I know, but I'm just gonna ramble at you and I want you to relax, okay? Okay. So, this book that I'm reading, I'm not too far through it yet, maybe like 20 pages or so. And yeah, it is all about Anne Boleyn. It is the first book of its kind, apparently. 
No one else has written all about Anne Boleyn in the last few months of her life. And the book starts by showing you, like, the family trees of the Tudors and the Boleyns. And I, I don't think we've talked about this a lot. I don't know how much you know about the history of the British monarchy. <laughs> well, Henry VIII was not supposed to be king. Mm -mm. He had an older brother who was the Prince of Wales and he married Catherine of Aragon, which ended up being Henry VIII's first wife as well, because Henry's brother died, which means that Henry, who was the spare, became king. And when his brother died, Henry married his brother's widow as a good gesture, I think, and yeah. He was married to Catherine of Aragon, and they couldn't produce a male heir together. And while he was with Catherine of Aragon, another a lady <laughs> had caught had caught his eye, and that was Anne Boleyn. And they had like this back and forth thing for a few years, and she would always like keep him at arm's length because she wanted to marry him and so yeah uh, Henry wanted his marriage to Catherine of Aragon um, annulled but of course as part of the Catholic Church it was not recognised and um, it was not agreed with and so Henry created his own church of England, and the divorce was annulled, and he married Anne Boleyn, and they were madly in love. They say that Henry VIII was so besotted with Anne Boleyn, but just like his first marriage, she failed to produce a male heir. Uh, in their words and she gave him a daughter but she couldn't give him a son and apparently Anne Boleyn was not a very meek and mild kind of wife she was very outspoken very opinionated a bit brash and Henry didn't like that. There's a lot of historians who paint this picture of Anne Boleyn as a fierce, strong, opinionated, you know, just like a normal woman. And, um, yeah. Apparently women were not supposed to be like that back then. I'm not sure how well I'd have done back then. <laughs> and so, yeah. This book is just all about the, the four months leading up to her execution because yeah, Henry wanted a new wife he wanted a male heir he needed one and I haven't read too far into the book yet so I'm not sure um, but yeah, she was held in the Tower of London It's tragic to read about, but it's important to read and learn about history so things don't happen again. I really want to read more this year. I actually saw this poster. It's like a um, 
scratch, scratch out pasta. And every time you read a book on that list, you like scratch it off. It's got like, I think it's like a hundred classics or something. I might get it. Maybe I could really eat to sleep next time. Maybe you're struggling. I've been told I have a very soothing voice. Shh, just relax. Just relax. Listen to the rain. Feel my arms around you. I've got to you. It's okay. These are my favorite moments with you. In the middle of the night, the whole world is sleeping. I guess not the whole world. <laughs> it is daytime somewhere, but our little world where we live. Everything's so quiet and peaceful. The rain is pouring down outside. And we're nice and snuggly and warm and safe inside. And all there is for us to do is just go. to sleep, but just rest. You're just gonna close.